Hello everyone, my name is Bradley Travis. Welcome to Sing with English Touring Opera for Kids, Lesson 1. Now, I am English Touring Opera's Associate Artist in Learning and Participation, but I'm also an opera singer. So, let me give you a little bit of background. Right now, at this moment, English Touring Opera were meant to be touring the country with four different pieces going into theatres and into schools, but because of the current situation, the whole tour has had to be cancelled. But English Touring Opera have been very generous and were able to pay our performance fees for the whole tour, which is really important for freelance artists. Now, I was meant to be performing in three of these pieces. I was meant to be Curio, in Giulio Cesare by Handel. I was playing the role of Brother Bradley and singing some of the bass solos in Bach's The Saint John Passion. And I was also performing the role of Mr. Higginbottom in our new opera for children and young people with special needs, The Extraordinary Adventures of You and Me. So we thought it would be really great if we did a series of singing lessons, one for children and one for adults, that different artists from the ETO tour would deliver. Now this is episode one, or lesson one, of the series for children. And as I said, my name is Bradley Travis, and then the next time you're going to meet my friend and colleague, Joanna Skillet, who was meant to be singing Fiordaligi in Cosi Fan Tutte, and also Ms. Winkle in The Extraordinary Adventures of You and Me, and she's gonna take um, the mantle up from me, if you like, because what we're going to do is we're going to impart some of our advice, our tips, and make it a fun series. But spoiler alert, there will be a little bit of homework. So, what's opera singing all about? Well, it's certainly about performance, and it's definitely about acting as well, because I love to act on stage. But I think you'll probably agree with me that it's about singing. So what we're going to do to start off our lessons is we're going to learn about warming up, warming up the voice, but also warming up the whole body, okay? So what we're going to do to start off with, you're going to reach out your arms. Can you do that with me? We're going to do this all together. You can do it with your mum and dad, or with your brother and sister, or just the two of us, okay? Reach out your arms, really be stretching out, use, wiggle those fingers, stretch out to the walls, and now go to one way. Oh yeah, feel that nice stretch. Feel the stretch here, and then come back to the middle. And then go the other way. Oh, then give your fingers a wiggle, really stretch, and then come back. And then go the other way again. Oh, wiggling those fingers. And then back to the middle. And then off we go again. Wiggle those fingers. Now you might think, Bradley, why am I doing this warming up? I thought we were here to learn about singing. Well, the thing is that singing isn't just about your neck and your face. It's also about your whole body. So we need to get nice and warmed up and have a bit of fun, okay? So we've stretched. Now stretch those arms out, out again and start doing little tiny circles. You might not be able to see both of my arms, but I'm doing little tiny circles. So now we're probably the size of ping pong balls or golf balls. And we're getting a bit bigger. So maybe a baseball now. Bigger still. We're probably getting towards a football now, okay? Now, basketball, whoa, and now maybe a beach ball, and then maybe one of those yoga balls. There we go, we're going, try not to take off. We're gonna get a bit smaller now, so back to the beach ball, and back to the football, baseball, golf ball, little tiny, tiny, tiny circles, and then stop. Okay, now, Reach up with one arm, one arm. There we go. Reach into the sky. Ah, I can see a tree up there. We need to get an apple. So we're going to reach and then we're going to jump for the apple. Whoa. Now we've got the apple. I want you to take a bite out of the apple. Then this is going to start warming up your voice, okay? So we're going to take a bite out of the apple and then give a nice mmm to see how tasty it is, okay? Let's go. Mmm. See if you can find all bits of your voice. Start really low and then go really high. Actually, it wasn't that good. Let's try again. Using your other arm now. Reach all the way up. 
reach, reach, reach. See the apple and jump. Oh. Mm. Do this with me. Try and see whether you can make some more different sounds. Mm. Mm. Get a bit louder. Mm. Oh, it's a good one. Mm. Great. Lovely apple. Let's do it again. Reach. Feel that there. Reaching up and jump. Now I want you to make a nice low sound and go right the way up to a big high sound, okay? So... Let's do that one together. Doing a nice chewing, starting low. Great, okay. Now let's do one more apple. So reach up to the sky and then jump. And then home. Hope you're making lots of nice up and down sounds. Okay, now, that was your apples. Now give one hand a shake. Oh yeah, get all of that. Start going. Do it with me. Other hand. With me. Okay, now foot. Let's do that together. Okay, other one. Both together. Oh, that's good. Now go. All together. And again. Now this time I want you to stay down, folding forward, and then come up very slowly, one vertebrae or one bit of your back at a time, okay? So let's go down together. Ooh. Now coming up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Coming up, coming up. Head last thing to come up, and then put your arms up into the sky, and then reach, reach, bounce on your toes. And then bring your arms down nice and slowly. Here we go. And then here we are. Now imagine that there's a string coming out of the top of your head and connecting to the ceiling. And it's just pulling you very slightly. So you can see me now. I've got a nice long neck, like a giraffe, okay? And rather than being all like this, we want to be nice and long and stretch. And I've got a little exercise to help with this actually. So bring your shoulders up to your ears and then imagine you've got two bags of heavy shopping and we're going to go heavy shopping. Okay, let's try that again. Up to the ears and then all together heavy shopping. Okay, so that's a really good exercise just to free up your neck a bit and then we can feel that string again and we're in a lovely position to start singing. So one of the most important things about singing is breathing. And now we're in this lovely position because we've done our little nice warm up of our bodies. We can now think about breathing a little bit. So what I want you to do is do nice breaths with me, okay? That you can imagine there's this balloon which is in your belly. Now down here in your belly or your stomach is the engine room of singing, okay? This is where everything happens. It's not up here, it's not here, it's down here. So we want the air to just drop into your lungs and that will release your stomach and the diaphragm will go like bujunk, okay? Which is, a, which is part of your body and it goes kajunk. So now we're gonna imagine nice breathing like a balloon filling up. Let's do that together. That's a nice balloon going up. Okay, now we're going to do it with the arms. We're going to do this. And again. And just give your belly a little bit of a feel as you're breathing in. It wants to be nice and loose. Nice and loose, flabby belly like me. And we can just go... Now we're going to keep doing this breathing in, but now I want you to make a noise like an owl when you're breathing out. So we're going to go... Ooh, all 
together. And again. Now we're going to go low to high, okay? So we're going to go. Okay, and then we can do it a bit quicker and we go. Having fun? Having fun being an owl? Okay, you can just go around the house like that, actually. You could just be nice breathing in, like a nice balloon filling up. And then now what, what I'm wanting you to do is the breath to come out nice and easy and the lovely sound that you're making. I'm sure you're all making a really great sound. So that's brilliant. Now we're going to do a little fun song, um, which is called the Hello Song. And because we're just meeting now, I thought it'd be really fun to do. So all it is, is we go, hello, ah. Can you do that with me? Three, and. Hello, ah. And all we do then is we go up a note. So we go up a note in the scale. So the next one is, hello, ah. Let's do it together. Hello, ah. And then we go up. Hello, Ah, hello, ah, hello, ah, hello, ah, hello, ah, hello, ah, okay, so you get the idea. So now what we can do is that we can think of some other fun things to put in rather than hello and then a different sound. So I think there's a very odd crocodile behind me. So for example, you can go crocodile, ah, and maybe even with actions you could go crocodile, ah, crocodile, ah. Have you got any other ideas? I think we could go banana, mmm, banana, mmm, or maybe motorbike, zzz, motorbike, I'd love you to think of some more ones of those, and that's part of your homework, to have a go at those ones, coming up with different ones, come up with them with your mum and dad and brother and sister, and then you can all have a little go at warming up your voice. Because you might now feel that your voice is starting to get a little bit warm. So all we've done is we've warmed up the body, and then we've done some exercises where we use humming, so we're just going, mmm, and you can attach that to imagining that you're having a nice apple or a nice bit of cake and you go mmm. That goes through all of your range. And then we've also gone hello, ah, or crocodile, ah. And all this really starts to warm up the voice beautifully, particularly if you've done some good exercises with warming up the body and warming up with some nice breathing. Now, before we finish, your next bit of homework is to learn and practice this little song, okay? It comes from a piece that we made for young people with special needs called This Is My Bed. And it's a really fun piece that I was in. And actually, the next teacher, Joanna Skillet, she was in it as well. So the words are, come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Can we do that together, okay? Three, four. Come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Got it so far? If you haven't got it, you can always pause and go back and have another practice. Because the next words are, put your thumbs up and never give up. Let's try that together with the actions. Put your thumbs up and never give up. Now this is a song about balloons and not wanting them to bang or anything. So the next words are, they won't blow up, no. And if they do, it's not as bad as you think. Okay, so it's not going to be as bad as you think if the balloons blow up. So the whole song, let's do it in sections, goes, come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Let's do that together. Come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Next bit is, put your thumbs up, and never give up. Let's do that. Put your thumbs up, and never give up. Next bit is, they won't blow up, no. Your turn. They won't blow up. No. Last bit. 
And if they do, it's not as bad as you think. Your turn. And if they do, it's not as bad as you think. Okay? So you can pause it and go back, but here's the full song. Let's try and do it together. Come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Put your thumbs up, and never give up. They won't blow up, no. And if they do, it's not as bad as you think. One more time. Come on, cheer up, and keep your chin up. Put your thumbs up, and never give up. They won't blow up. No, and if they do, it's not as bad as you think. Okay, so that's a little song to learn and practice for next time with Joe. It's been such a pleasure to teach you today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to say that all of these lessons are dedicated to all of the people that made this tour happen. So the singers, the orchestra, the technical staff, all of the administrators, this is dedicated to them for all of their hard work. Now. Have a great week, enjoy practicing your singing, and just have fun. Thank you.